My name is Deborah Sutton and I am Director of Admissions for the Department of History. In this short presentation, I want to describe some of the characteristics of the History Department. I'll say something about our research and our teaching and then go on to talk about studying history in your first year. I'll speak briefly about second and third year before going on to say something about opportunities for placement work in the heritage sector and study abroad opportunities. Finally, I will introduce ever so briefly our careers service and graduate careers. All of us are active researchers in our chosen fields. I'm a historian of modern South Asia and I teach modules on imperial history, on Gandhi's leadership of the Indian freedom movement and on Indian art history and archaeology. We all teach our own specialisms through a selection of optional modules that you can take in your first, second and third years. Your first year will be divided into three elements. All history students take our core history module, Ancient to Modern History and Historians, and I will say more about this course in a moment. You can then choose two from a selection of optional history modules, and again, I'll come back to these. The third component is a subject chosen from outside of the history department. You can choose an option from a wide variety of subjects from the, art, the Faculty of Arts and Social Science. This is an excellent opportunity to study a language. As a so the first year core module, Ancient to Modern History and Historians. This is a large course in every way. For lectures, you will be in a lecture theatre with around 200 students, both your fellow historians and students from other departments who have chosen to study history as a first year option. In addition, you will have a seminar every week in groups of around 15. This module is designed to provide a broad geography and a chronology and draws on research specialisms from The second component of your first year will be two modules selected from this list. These are 10 week modules and are assessed by coursework only. They are taught by two weekly lectures and a weekly seminar. These modules will allow you to make a deeper study of a particular historical context and a set of problems. Together with your non-history subject option, this will be your first year at Lancaster. This slide gives you a sense of your contact hours as a history student in your first year at Lancaster University. For each of your three modules, you will have two lectures every week and one seminar. The seminars are an opportunity to develop your understanding, clarify any issues of which you are uncertain and ask questions of each other and of the seminar tutor. Preparation for seminars is absolutely essential. You don't need to master the readings, that's not what's expected of you but you do need to be familiar with them and ready to ask questions and participate in discussion. Your tutors will off offer 
office hours every week. These are opportunities to walk in and have a discussion about any aspect of the module of which you are uncertain, whether it's reading, preparation, taking notes or preparing essays. At the beginning of your first year, you'll be assigned an academic tutor and you'll meet with them at least once a term to discuss any aspect of your academic work and progress. As an undergraduate student, you'll be part of the research culture of the department and are warmly invited to attend regular research seminars that take place. These are an opportunity to deepen your knowledge of the histories that you are studying and also see historians in their natural and happiest state, exposition and argument. Finally, Wednesday afternoons are reserved for sports and societies. No teaching is scheduled to make sure students have opportunities to do other things. In second year, you can choose from a wide variety of modules, a small sample of which are shown here. You will choose six optional modules. You can choose to specialise, for example, in medieval or modern European history, or you can choose, as most of our students do, modules that combine different geographical, chronological, methodological and thematic approaches to the discipline. In your third year, you can choose another two optional modules. In addition, you will take a special subject and write a research dissertation. The special subjects are taught in weekly three-hour seminars and are an opportunity to develop a deep understanding of a particular history and engage with the primary sources, whether texts, images, audio or video recordings, that we use to write history. In your third year, you will also design and write a dissertation. We give free choice of dissertation topic and at the end of your second year you will de design a research plan that identifies a corpus of source material and a viable analytical approach. The dissertation is supervised in one-to-one -one meetings with your supervisor who will help you research, draft, redraft, redraft and finally write and submit your 10,000 word research dissertation. Although as historians we're creatures of the library and archive, there are a number of opportunities to leave campus and explore landscapes and collections associated with the histories that fascinate us. The department offers an optional heritage placement as part of the history degree. This module is taken instead of one of your second year modules and is an opportunity to work with one of our heritage partners in the region. For example, the National Trust, English Heritage, the Duchy of Lancaster, and a number of local museums and archives. There are a number of opportunities to study abroad. If you are applying for a study abroad history programme, you will spend your second year at one of our partner institutions. There are also opportunities for shorter term travel and study in the United States of America, Malaysia, Ghana, China and India. Finally, and of course this is extremely far away, Lancaster University has an excellent career service that will help you to prepare for the competitive graduate job market. There are a number of ways through which you can develop new skills, for example by taking the Lancaster Award. The career service will also help you to reflect upon and to present the wealth of transferable skills you will have acquired during your three-year history degree. If you have any questions at all about anything I have said, or indeed anything that I haven't, please contact us.